This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating binding energy. In the previous video, we saw that the mass of a nucleus is slightly less than the sum of the masses of the nucleons that make up the nucleus, which is known as the mass defect. For example, the mass of a helium nucleus is slightly less than the sum of the masses of the nucleons that make up the nucleus. The missing mass has been converted directly into energy. This energy is the binding energy of the nucleus, which is the energy required to separate the nucleus into its constituent nucleons. So the mass of the nucleons that make up a nucleus equals the mass of the nucleus plus the mass that's been converted to the binding energy. To calculate the binding energy, we can use the Einstein mass energy equivalence relationship, which is E equals mc squared. E is the energy in joules, m is the mass defect in kilograms, and c is the speed of light. Next we look at an example. Calculate the binding energy of the helium-4 nucleus. To calculate the binding energy, we'll use the equation E equals mc squared. In a previous video, we calculated the mass defect of the helium-4 nucleus, which is 5.51 times 10 to the negative 29 kilograms. We then multiply the mass defect by the speed of light squared, which gives us 4.96 times 10 to the negative 12 joules per nucleus. Next, we will calculate the binding energy in kilojoules per nucleon. To do this, we divide the energy released in joules per nucleus by the number of nucleons in a helium-4 nucleus, which is 4. We then divide by 1000 to convert to kilojoules, which gives us 1.24 times 10 to the negative 15 kilojoules per nucleon.